the lead leg block because I get more questions that's not just, hey, how do you throw harder? More questions on, hey, what are some drills that I can do for the lead leg block, right? And I would be doing you in disservice if I gave you like a hundred different drills because honestly, the best drill is to naturally find your body's sequence that will allow you, allow the lead leg to be put into a position to do its job, which is block. The pelvis rotates over the fixed femur. And this is what we see. And this is, this is why I believe that instead of thinking lead leg block first and then other things, it's no, focus more on timing of hip rotation. And then if the lead leg block is out of sequence, we might need to work because look, he's allowing his lead leg to do its job by rotating on time, meaning his lead leg now at landing at anchor point is in the right position to stabilize that incoming energy that we had built up back here. And then boom, it's in a great position to be sturdy and stable. And then this is where we see knee extension. Not because Hobie's sitting here thinking about, oh, I got to hyperextend my knee so it looks good on video. No, it's because he produced all of his energy that he needed to produce. He transferred all of that on time in relation to his hand, and he got rid of all 100% of that ground force energy, and it went to the front side. So therefore, when he anchored down, all that was left to do was make sure that that lead leg was in a good position to accept that. Therefore, we see the trail leg to stay long and the knee goes into extension. So how sexual is that?